and welcome again to Ronson's Reviews and this week we're going to look at Bad Boys 4, Wolverine and Deadpool and The Fall Guy. Oh, it's so great to have brand new stuff to the review. Welcome aboard, Francisco. Well, uh, yes, it's so good. Thank you, Ronson. It is very good to have uh, new stuff to review. Uh, the, it's the Hollywood trend of having, uh, you know, remakes all the time is very, very boring. All of these are effectively sequels. Yeah, well, this is uh, Mark Stand here. There's nothing wrong with a good sequel. I mean, one of these is the Fall Guy. I'm hoping Lee Majors is going to be in there, and I'm sure the budget for this uh, film, or as you call them, movie, as we call them, is uh, more than six million dollars for that man. Well, I'm not, I'm not sure it's been confirmed whether Lee Majors is actually in the, the Fall Guy yet. Uh, maybe we'll have a cameo. I'm not certain. Who's Lee Majors? Oh, my word, who's Lee Majors? I can't believe you're asking that. Well, I'm only trying to find out that, it, you know, in the rich my cultural experience of uh, knowing you, Mike, you know, with you being uh, very mature and uh, no, lots of knowledge. When you say very mature, what exactly are you referring to here, uh, Francisco? Well, last time we went to see a movie, uh, you uh, had the very giant uh, bucket of Coca-Cola, or, or was it Pepsi-Cola? I'm not sure. I believe it was Tango. Oh, obviously not Tango and Cash. You know about Tango and Cash, but you don't know who Lee Majors is? That's mind-boggling. Yeah, just one other thing. This time, I don't think you should have quite so much to drink, Mike. Well, it's a soft drink. I can still bring my supreme focus to review the movie without worrying about how much drink intake I'm taking. Oh, I'm not really... Refi well, if we do, you need to sit in the aisle. What do you mean, sit in the aisle? I'll sit in a comfy seat, one of those premium seats like everybody else. No, I mean the closer to the edge so that uh, when you go three times to the toilet... Well, my word, don't say toilet on the radio. It's men's room or restroom. Well, that's what it... Yes, uh, restroom. I do apologize. My word, I'm going to have to train you up. You're, you're a terrible trainee there, Francisco. I don't know what you mean. I've got my own show now, you know. I used to be the weatherman, as everyone knows, living in a cupboard with just one window. But uh, from now on, you know, I, am, I have my own show. Thanks to a good word put in by, well, we won't say who did that. So which of these three uh, movies do we want to review? I thought we'd decided. I'd, I thought it was going to be The Fall Guy. Well, it sounds like uh, you've made your mind up, Mike. And uh, Francisco? Well, I'm a bit concerned about the bad boys. I mean, exactly how bad are these boys? I don't know, but I was fancying the Deadpool, so we seem to be at something of a deadlock. Well, what about the... okay, we, we, should we draw straws for it? That would be the last straw, from my point of view. I mean, that uh, Fall Guy was a terrific series. I mean, Lee Majors even sang the theme tune and managed to get the mention of his former partner, uh, Farah, into the lyric there. Has it got the same theme? Well, I don't know, but it's, uh, it's, uh, it's naturally a sort of a successor to that original series. Well, uh, I'm not sure then. Uh, again, it depends exactly how bad the bad boys are. I mean, uh, I don't want to slap that movie down with Will Smith in it, but at the same time, I would like to uh, give it a chance. Well, anyway, if we do go, which night would you prefer to go? Uh, I'm not free Thursday, as we usually go on a Thursday. I'm not free that night because I've got squash. Is it uh, as much squash as, uh, Ron's, uh, uh, as uh, Mike drank last time? Because if it is, you might need the aisle seat at the other side. I don't mean that kind of squash. Um, he means the one that's definitely a racket sport. Indeed. So, Thursday's out. What about Saturday, Mike? No, uh, I can't do Saturday because I'm doing a, a, a weather promotion event uh, in London. I didn't even know you knew where London was, Francisco. You uh, seem to be a lot more confused than you used to be. Now don't be personal, you know, of course I know where London is. And here we are on the day, and we're in the foyer, and just over to my left, obviously this is radio, so you can't see this, but Francisco is wearing a t-shirt that says Resolution Radio 2020. I'm with Mike, to, with an arrow pointing towards Mike's stand. It's my opinion that Mike was hoping that people would come to him to try and get autographs, but not one single person has done so, so far. Worse than that, we haven't actually decided which of the three movies to go and see. At this rate, it's possible that we could all go and see different movies and therefore review different movies when we get back together. I will keep you posted on further developments as they happen, but I'm not too optimistic at this point. I must say these three, uh, uh, us three actually, are behaving like bad boys ourselves. 
I'm still hoping to get to see that particular film now that I've gone over to the uh, same side as uh, Francisco and thought that we might see it. But Mike is holding out. So stay with us. We'll be back with Ronson's reviews. By that time, you might even find out which movie we've actually gone to see. If you like this channel, like and subscribe our page. Share it with your friends. If you understand the underlying message here, which is about entertainment and fun. Keep smiling. Then continue to stay with us. I look forward to interacting with you in the future.